So, the subject is never satisfied, never full. And it says a shark is a perfect example of a necktie mentality. Unlike most animals, a shark will kill every prey that's in front of it. Alright, so, I really didn't write anything. And the reason being is that I picked this subject on purpose because I feel like I've got a uh, good grasp on it. And that's just recently. So, the reason I picked this and it stood out to me is because I literally just had this conversation with my wife like a couple weeks ago. Where, in this, in this career, so I'm going to do like Anthony did. I'm going to base this off of like my life and my experiences. Um, you know, after my last fight, I lost, and uh, it was a tough one to swallow. And so I was kind of at home being a little bitch about it. <laughs> and, um, you know, I was just telling her that, you know, I'm not, I'm not happy or satisfied with anything I've ever done in the sport. And she was saying, you know, maybe you should take some time to appreciate the things that you have done that some people may never get to do. So I started thinking about that, and I realized, like, you know, I had 20 fights in the UFC, which everybody's goal is to go to the UFC and she told me like how many guys might never make it there and you got to go 20 times and it just made me think and realize that looking back at my career I need to pick you know small battles as you go and enjoy the ride you know enjoy the experiences you know I've gotten to go to Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Qatar, Australia several times, Brazil I've gotten to travel the world because of this sport. And these are things I think I was taking for granted and not really, you know, taking it all in and, and uh, being happy with what I've done. So I'm kind of torn still, and I'm figuring this out myself still because you have to be happy with the things that you've done, but you also can't just be happy with the things you've done. Otherwise, we would be done. You know, I've, I've kind of said for a long time, my career would be done when I'm happy with what I've achieved and what I've done. And so far, I'm not. But everybody's different. Each one of you guys will have a different goal. And honestly, everybody here, if I asked you what your goal was right now and you thought of it, you'd probably say, like, I want to be UFC champion. It's kind of a cop-out because everybody wants to be that. You know? And it's a hard reality that 99.9% .9 of everybody here and anybody you know will probably never get that. So there's levels of, of goals. You know, you got to... Pick goals that are attainable, but also have bigger goals. But be happy with those little goals as you make them and enjoy it and take it all in. You know, because one day we're all going to be old, sitting on our couch or Anthony's going to be mowing his lawn or something. And uh, <clears throat> you want to be able to look back on your experiences and be happy with uh, the things that you've done. And for me, I've just been negative about everything I've done. Like, it didn't matter to me. That wasn't it. And, uh, when I was thinking about this subject, I thought about uh, those of us that have had the chance to be around Burt Watson. You know, I know Anthony knows him, Dustin knows him, my brother knows him. Uh, a lot of guys, if you don't know him, he used to basically run the UFC. Every event, he met you at the hotel, right in front, he'd give you the same speech all the time, and he always said things like, you know, this is the UFC, this is the big time. You need anything, you tell me, we take care of everything. Your job's to fight. But he'd always end his speech with, this is the UFC, it's easy to get here and it's hard to stay. You know, so looking back on that, making it there should have been a goal of mine, which it was, but I wasn't happy with it. So I'm trying to change my mentality, looking back on things that I've done and be happy with it. And, uh, you know, making it to the UFC is actually a huge road mark. And so looking back now, I am, I am happy with that. And then being able to stay there was another goal. But I think I passed over all these things, not being satisfied with what I've done and just looking further and further and further. So really the, the point of today, I think, is that you guys need to pick you know, certain levels of things, but enjoy the whole thing. You know, losses suck. I think all of us in here have lost. And this is like the most lonely sport in the world, you know? I always tell people it's like, um, the highs and lows, there's no middle. You know, you either win or you lose. Losing is like the worst thing in the world. Winning's the best. It's kind of like skydiving. I either jump out of a plane and the chute opens and I feel great, or the chute doesn't open and you hit the ground. There's no like middle ground. So, pick things that are attainable, but also have higher goals. 
and just make sure along the way you look back and are satisfied and be positive and happy with those things. And uh, that's one thing I think I haven't done that I'm starting to do now. Yeah, that's it.